Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm working on an oil painting. Um, this oil painting was a bit of a journey. I kind of didn't really um, know what I was doing because um, I've never really worked with oil paint before, but I was really excited too because I've been getting really um, invested in oil paints and I love painting with uh, them now. They're just so much fun to do with and um, also they also make all paintings look really realistic. So I was really excited to work with it. The girl you see I'm painting here is just a random photo I found. The lighting was really dramatic, so I thought it would be cool to paint. The reason I got into oil painting was because I did this one oil painting for my art class, and then ever since then I was hooked, and I was like, oh my god, I need to keep doing more oil paintings. So I'm planning to do a series of oil paintings um, of portraits like these with dramatic lighting and, you know, trying to make it realistic. I think that would be really fun. I started off this oil painting being really like proud of it like oh my god I love this but then um then it got to a point where I was like wow I don't really like this at all and then I was experimenting and doing a bunch of stuff which you'll see really soon um but I did like how it ended up looking in the end I think it went through a whole um process a whole transformation and I think it was for the better so here you just saw me time jump but basically um I'm painting the hair right now. The hair was really fun to paint. It's like super curly. Um, it changes a lot. The hair is one of the main things that changes a lot. Um, sorry, there's like a huge gap here where I'm not painting. All right, so now I'm painting the background. And um, the background, again, this is one of those things I went to, uh, went through a whole lot of transformation. It started off really dark, and then I had to lighten it and do a whole bunch of stuff with it. And it was, it was just crazy. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing with this oil painting. I just kind of went for it, and that's usually what I do with my art. I just go for it. The canvas looks really grainy because of the sunlight and the lighting. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's just, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I need to get, like, some nice lights to put up while I'm painting or, like, working on any sort of artwork. Um, when my hand's shadowing it, you can see more of the detail in the painting, so, um, that's better. The lighting is really, it changes throughout this video a lot. Um... So, one of the things I learned about oil paints is that you want to not blend, but add transformation shades. And that was really difficult for me to do because, like, I always blend. Like, that's my thing, especially with graphite. You have to blend, right? And, like, I've been trying out more new materials and stuff. So, like, here you can see me. I'm not using graphite. I'm using oil paints. And I've been doing that lately with all of my artwork. There's a bunch of drawings that I want to create. Um, I'm actually working on a video right now. Um, I think it will be really, really helpful for you guys. So, stay tuned for that. So, at this point, the hair is, like, super short, and the eye is wonky, and, like, the lighting is off, and it's like, what? What is happening? So, I'm still working on the hair. It's going well. I thought I liked it, um, but I was just looking at it from an angle. That happens to me. I look at things from an angle, and then I look at them straight on, and I'm like, wow, that doesn't look like what it did from an angle. But, yeah, um... One mistake I made with this painting was trying to put everything down in just one layer. But as some of you may know, oil paints need a lot of layers. And you need to be um, layering those to be able to get all those details. And because I love details, I was really um, frustrated with it because I couldn't get those details in the hair. And it just wasn't working. But then I decided to take my time. And this painting, like, I went back to it over a couple weeks. Which is why um, the lighting is so dramatic in this video because... It was many, many days later, many, several weeks later that I was still working on it. I would just, like, touch up things here and there. So here you can see me working on the shirt, and this was pretty simple. It wasn't that difficult. Um, but yeah, it kind of just fades into the bottom there. I'm trying not to do that, especially with the, like, realistic paintings, because if it just fades, then that doesn't look realistic, right? So, yeah. Here you can see me, like, lightening up the background, just trying to figure it out, um... I kept running out of oil paint, so the background was kind of difficult to do. But yeah, my oil paint is almost gone because I have been oil painting a lot. So this is where the background starts to take form. And honestly, it's kind of crazy because I've never done this sort of a background before. It's just lines and swoops and things. And I don't remember which artist it was who I was inspired by. I'll leave a link below if I, um, if I remember. Um, yeah, so I was doing that here and it was just... I don't even know what I was doing. Yeah, so I'm still working on it. And this is where everything completely changes. The hair just completely turned into something brand new. I don't even know how it happened, but I love it way more now. 
Yeah, so you can still see me working on the hair. And this is after I waited a couple um, days for it to dry because as you guys know, oil paint takes a long time to dry. And I was working on it and it let me add, let me add more detail, which was really, um, like I was happy with that. I didn't realize that I would have to wait a couple days and add more layers on top. Even though I should have realized that because obviously most oil paintings take a lot of layers because oil paint is really smooth. You gotta kind of um, layer it basically to get those details. And so you just saw me do the background, which really kind of brought the whole piece together, especially when I got rid of the brush strokes. Some people might like it before I changed the background. Again, dramatic lighting change. But I really like how the painting looks at this point. I, I don't know, I just love it. It's one of the first few pieces that I'm actually proud of. I usually am not really proud of any of my artwork. It's just sort of that artist mindset of how do I get better? How do I do better? But I was really happy with this, especially since it's like my second or third oil painting ever. But yeah, it was a lot of fun to work with. And it, like, you can see how it transforms from beginning to end. And I just, I love what it, um, the hair looks like at this point in the video, where it's sort of curly at the end over there. And I decided to keep that part just slightly simple. So yeah, I'm still like adding little things to the background, darkening up some areas, and working on adding the darkest values to the hair as well. Here you can see me working on the corner because it's still it was still in that brush stroke sort of um, area, but then I smooth smoothed it over, and then now you can see everything sort of blending together. And then I darkened that little strand on the top of her head. And yep, yeah, I'm. Still working on the corner now smoothing it over and then it's just coming into place the hair is blending working on the shirt and i'm just blending everything out back there darkening up the top part of the hair and you know just adding some final details and here's the final piece thank you guys so much for watching bye